Hey Dai, what is up? I hope you guys are having a, a great day and even a better day because this video is live. Um, but uh, if you're new to my channel, remember to make sure you turn that subscribe button from red to gray, hit that bell notification so you know when I'm so you did a notification of what I post. And give this video a bit thumb up right now before I even start the video. Leave a comment below. Um I don't know, uh, let's see, let's see. What can you guys comment below? Oh. Comment below down down in the comment. Who do you think will be the number one quarterback in college football to enter the NFL draft to be drafted on the team in the first top 10 pick of the NFL draft next year. I want to know. I want to know your opinion of what quarterback do you guys think will be able to be drafted in the top 10 of the NFL draft pick. Alright. Now we got that on the season. Thank you again for coming to the Adventure, Adventure with Thomas channel for some football prediction, for travel video, for a fun game and challenges, traveling, I love to travel, hiking video, you know, all those things. Thank you for coming to my channel for those 10 videos. Alright, so today we'll be Let's see, if I did this right, it should be we, um, I think it's going to be episode 5, and we, that bit of Tyler Papal, position, so let's just jump right into this, with my team, it's the first team on Saturday. It's going to be played at 3.30. Um, it's Alabama, Roll Tide, and Tennessee. Ooh. Ten, Tennessee making up that, that my, te my Bama team. Uh, I hate to say it. I don't think Tennessee can pull it off. Um, and I'm not going to pick anybody that's my team. I'm going to pick my team all the time. So, Alabama's going to be 8 and 0 after Saturday. And just watch. Roll Tide! <clears throat> the next game in Illinois and Wynn Thompson. Which is a really good game. It should uh, come down to. A one day, one point game, all the way to a ten point game, but it doesn't come down to the last, maybe last minute of the last total. And I'm gonna say, I think I'm gonna go pick Illinois for this one, <clears throat> but I could be wrong. But I'm picking Illinois. It could be an upset, and Win Thompson to take the W and take the win off of Illinois. Because Win Thompson defense played amazing last week. If you guys ever watched that game or watched like the highlight, they were just on fire. Uh, the next game in Maryland versus the Iowa. 
All right, so this one, a damn theme and last theme above, it's gonna be a slow, to be a nail biter. Fighting both teams are gonna fight to the end. But in my book, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Iowa, which to take the W home, but then their offense is just a little bit better. The defense, uh, I would say average, it's not, it's not to the where it should be or where they want it to be, but it's probably average. They can still win ball game with that defense. The next one, ooh, this is uh, If you live in Michigan, you guys might be watching this game all weekend. <laughs> Michigan but Michigan State. Oh man, this game is gonna be. This game might be a game to watch. If you live in Michigan, or if you just live in America and you you follow college football like crazy, this game might be the one to watch. Um, personally, me, I I know how Michigan State play. They play aggressive. They play. They fight. They take those time of the game and they fight it all the way to the end. But same thing with Michigan. Michigan, they know how to play ball. They know how to go out there and play ball like you mean it. And you do time, plus an offense and defense to your advantage. So this game might be a hard one to pick. But uh, I, I think I'm going to lean more towards Michigan to take the W. The next game, we got Oklahoma and TTU. Um, I don't know if I had to say anything about this game, or I can just say who's going to win. I think Oklahoma's going to win. Uh, they've been... They're, they're one of the top teams in college football. The five top teams, they're one of them. And... I think I don't see them taking a W. Uh, I don't take them taking an L to TCU. So I think they Oklahoma just got this out of the box and just gonna take home another W. All right, the next one we got Cincinnati and Temple. Huh? I'm looking at this game. And I watched a couple of highlights on both teams. And I'm going to say, first of all, Cincinnati undefeated. Tempo is 4 and 3. But I think I'm going to play an upset here. And I'm going to say Tempo is going to win. And give Cincinnati their first law. Because I know how Tempo play. And I watched a Tempo football game. And they're pretty damn good. Now, so I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna talk the first upset of the weekend, and it's gonna be Temple gonna dip Cincinnati the first loss of the season. All right, the next one is if you look at the Western, it they're pretty damn damn close. You got Colorado and Washington. And Colorado is five and one, Washington is five and two. So that's why I'm saying they're pretty they are damn low. But without even take talking about how many winning or how many losses each team have, take that out of the picture and focus on the team. Personally, I think Colorado doesn't win. Um, I saw how they played last week, and they. Boy, their opponent like they were doing everything white. So if they can keep that up into this week, they should be have no problem. The next one, it it looks slow because of their winning and loss in three. But I have a clear answer who on who doesn't win because of the defense. If you know who I'm talking about, leave it down below. But uh, if Penn State for Indiana, I'm not. I'm thinking I'm not the difference in Penn State because Penn State defense is just 
nothing liked it. Nothing liked it. It's so good. It's one of the amazing things ever out there. It's like, whoa. But like Penn State offense need a little sweet thing. Like need a little help. But their defense, uh, man. Great to them. They're doing amazing. Alright. The next one might be a, definitely a slow answer to the win. Um, it should end up to being a blowout. Like, it does as well as be a blowout. We got North Carolina State in one corner. And we got Lumpton Tidal in the other. Lumpton Tidal is undefeated. North Carolina State is eh, an average team. I think Lumpton's going to turn into that team and just blow out North Carolina. Um, if you're a North Carolina State fan, or if you don't live for college, I'm sorry, but it's just reality. Lumpton is just one of those teams. Again, Lumpton is a top team. So they can come out there and they can just fight it out. So I'm going to pick Lumpton with the W this week. And it's going to be a blowout. It could be a slow thing, but Lumpton's going to bring home the W. Alright, the next team, game, we got Mississippi State and LSU. Whoa! This game might be either way. This game might be enjoyable to watch. Because it won't be a blowout and it won't on either side of the ball. It won't be a blowout. It's going to be a consistent game through the end. But I think LSU is going to find a way to pull the W in the last quarter. So I'm going to give LSU the W. Alright, the next game is UTF and ETU. And this is a 7 o'clock game. And honestly, me, I want a good game out of here. Like, I want this game to be a spot on, just good. But if I had it, to, if somebody told me if I can win a million dollars on this game, who would I pick? And I have to give them an answer. I would probably tell them I would pick UTF. Just by how they've been playing all season. They're not the best team. They're not the worst team. They're in the middle of the path. But they're playing at a team. They're playing at a defense and an offense. They got, they got it. They just need to go out there and be consistent. And if they can be consistent, they can take home the W. Alright. The next team is Utah, the Hawk team, or USF. Huh. I don't know who the Utah opponent is this week. I never heard of them. I haven't heard a lot of information on them. I, I might have to be watching the thing, see if I might. But as of right now, before Tyler Football even started playing at noon on Saturday, I'm going to give the W to Utah because I think they're just a little bit more wonder at a football team on offense and defense to win bring home the W because they're they're just a little bit better alright this next one is going to be a, a duet game this is going to be a, the best game with that today without no doubt it's going to be the best one Vanderbilt and Tantotti now, you can say Tatati's going to take the W. I know there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of people saying that Tatati is going to take the W. But my opinion, it won't be easy. I can tell you right now, it, it won't be easy for them to take that W. They're going to have to come into that game and they're going to have to fight. Fight for their life. So, 
right there. I would want Vanderbilt to take home the W and give to Dusty a law. Like, I would love them to see an upset here. But I know many of you will like try to look online at reporter and all that and say, and they would say to Dusty gonna win by 50% projection or whatever like that. But honestly me, I think Vanderbilt is gonna go out there and they're gonna play the hardest. Alright the next one, the next game on Saturday night at 7.30 is Oregon and Washington State. Now this one, this not a clear answer on the, who's gonna win. You took the a blowout, you took the a nail biter game, you took the a very low throwing game, you know, all that. It's possible. Um and actually game like this that you don't know the direction gonna go. Uh actually the one that turned out to be the most enjoyable to watch. But I'm thinking Oregon is just gonna jump that next level and take that W home. Not much, just a little to take it home. And the last game of Saturday night for Tyler Papar is Purdue. Purdue. And Ohio State, which Ohio State is one of those top five teams. Um, and Ohio State is undefeated. Purdue is 3 and 3, which actually, that does not even matter. That does not matter on who's gonna win. Um, but just knowing how Ohio State plays, every season, every college football season, just knowing how they do, it's a clear answer that Ohio State is probably done the, the, the W over Purdue. It, it just I watch Ohio State over the year and they played my team Alabama and Alabama further than Ohio State. Like any of those top five teams are probably the only team that when they play Alabama, my team, those days won't be a blowout for Alabama. Like what Alabama's doing right now is just blowing out their opponent. When they play any of those top five teams, it won't be a blowout. They can still win, but it's going to be a hell of a lot closer game. So for this last game, I'm going with Ohio State to win. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed all those pets and all those, uh, all those facts or opinion that I thought about each team, each game. Um, I know I'm going to be watching them for college football this weekend. It looks like there's some excellent game out there to watch. Um, there's some good one that could be an update, it could be a nail biter, or then you got the one that's gonna be a complete blowout just by looking at it right now. Um, but it's gonna be a good Saturday to watch the football, follow along, watch the highlight. So leave it leave down in the comment below what game are you most excited to watch and follow and do you agree with what I'm saying who doesn't come out with the W in those in your most excited game to watch? Because I really I really wanna know if you're 
if you if we with me or this way. No, just have that interaction with you guys. Because I wanna make this channel more interactive. Get myself out there. Make it a more fan based channel, you know. So if you have any video suggestion that you want me to film, any video idea, anything like that, just leave it down below. And I will make sure to uh, add them to my list. And when I film them, I will give you a shout out. So why not? So, for that, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have not already hit that thumb up button at the beginning, do it right now. Hit that thumb up button. And if you haven't before this video started, hit that subscribe button, turn it from what this way. Um, you know what, you, you don't know what to do in the topic below. I did read some ideas to time it down there. Um, and just remember to enjoy the little thing in life and don't take anything for granted. So if you want to do something that makes you happy and you want to make it a real or you want to do any of that, go ahead. Don't let anybody get in your way. Just go out and do it. Just do it. Tell yourself to just do it. Do it. Alright guys. That's Pete that goodbye for now, but not for ne forever. I will see you die in the next video. So peace. Bye.